concerned. We've covered pretty much everything. Again, the announcement is that you will be making your own salmon crust, okay? You will be receiving one small squash, okay? I have squash cooked and pulled. I'm assuming it's okay. Uh, but, you know, uh, you're going to have a squash anyway, okay? You should know your recipes by heart. I don't think I need to tell you this again, correct? Yes, sir. And, okay, so we're going to come in, if everybody shows up at 5.15, everybody, you'll come in, we will take the test, the written test, or in the the kitchen, the uh, room next to the Italian kitchen, you know that kitchen, that area? Or in level one. Your test will be in level one and two on the fourth floor. So that's where you have to come at 5.15 if you can. If you can't, it's okay, but 5.45 sharp, we start then, yes. Yes, sir. 5.15, you should be in front of level one kitchen on the fourth floor. Um, you'll come in, you'll put down your knives, you'll take a number, you'll make sure that you, I, I, I know you know the number you are, the time you are, it will all be on the board, okay? Then we'll take the test. The written test, uh, then you'll hand me back the test. When everyone has handed me back the test, you will take uh, five minutes to take notes out of your book, out of your book. Then you will hand me your books, your cards, your everything, and you will have a piece of paper with your notes. That's all you get to use for your final. Not your cards, not your books. You got it? Then you'll break up into garbage and uh, entre and uh, uh, meat will be in level one kitchen. Fish and dessert will be in level two kitchen. That means 12 people more or less in level one and 12 people in level two kitchen. You understand? So you should have half of a station, half of an island, to do your cooking. You will have two proctors in each room, and they will not be me. The proctors who are working with pastry are cognizant of the dishes, all of them, but especially the pastry dishes. And it's the same in the other room, okay? They're cognizant of all the dishes. Your proctors might give you a little speech about what you are to be careful about. I'm going to give you that speech now. Make sure you keep station organized and clean. Wash your hands frequently. Make sure you sterilize your knives and your boards. This is logical, but a lot of you don't remember to do it in a rush. If I see side towels on your station that are dirty, not on your person, you will get points off. I can promise you your proctors are going to be looking at that. If you cut through butter paper and you happen to have Janet as a proctor, God help you. You understand me? That means take the butter out of the paper, put it in a square boy. Use clean habits. Have a clean uniform. Keep a clean station. Work neatly, in an organized manner, calmly, but with speed. You understand me? Yes. They're going to be looking to see, are you wasting time? Do you know what you're doing? Is it a logical succession of events? Are you chasing your tail? All those things go to points of organization, okay? Chronology and organization is really important. Tasking is really important. Now, with your meat, with your lamb, you've got to make sure that lamb rests for at least seven minutes. 
You want to try to cook it to medium rare. You've got to give it a beautiful brown and pop it into an oven. What temperature should your oven be at? 350, I, I would say to cook your small roast, 350 is fine. It, you use your thermometer, you let it rest, and on the pickup, you pop it in for five, like, like three minutes. To just warm it through, and then you slice it. Your duck, you cook to medium rare. You render the fat so it's golden brown. <laughs> Do you have a question, Ben? Uh, Share we it with the class so that everybody... I thought we were doing a medium for the restaurant. Uh, We've been doing medium. the duck medium rare. Medium rare. That means it's pink inside, not brown. Okay? Medium rare on your lab. Medium rare on your duck. The most important thing is to be consistent with your meat. If you want to cook it a little bit beyond pink, I don't want it raw. I don't want it soft when you touch it. I want it pink. Medium rare. Pink. Right? Okay? Your salmon dish. I tried it tonight. I want to give you a heads up on this salmon dish. It's a burn on taste, okay? You want to look for some acid. You're going to have a lot of butter in that sauce. You're looking for some acid background. You're going to get saltiness from your paddlefish caviar. You need to season that fish substantially. Don't go overboard, but you need to season that fish with before you sear it because the crust has to have a lot of punch to it too, guys, okay? Because if it doesn't, you cut through it and somewhere in the thickness of the salmon, you lose some of that, you understand me? You're looking for all these elements to balance each other. Think about balance. You're going to receive rolls of salmon and you yourself are gonna cut your portion. You're going to receive two racks of lamb and you yourselves are going to cut the three pieces together. Does anyone have a problem with that? Speak now. Um, you're looking for about a hundred twenty gram portions so I would say three fingers on it would be fine. Okay? Um, use your judgment. I am going to prepare that salmon for you on Tuesday because clearly, and the lamb, the day before, and the tuna. The tuna you'll get blocks. I put in for 16 pounds of tuna. So hopefully I won't be giving you anything to do with the belly meat or any of that striations that happens towards the chain. I will do the best I can. However, that said, you must sharpen your slicing knife to a razor sharpness. We all know this, yes? Yes. Make sure you sharpen your knives before I see you again. We will come around and check your tools. It is part of the proctor sheet. Do they have a complete uniform? Do they have complete tools? Are they sharp tools? Do not lose points on silly things. Okay? I, it broke my heart that I had to take four points off of half of you for your uniforms. That's just unprofessional at this point, guys. You're not kids. Okay? What else? What else? Other questions. You had a question about braising. Braising. What temperature does braising? Braising is a low and slow. But you got to start the braise at a simmer. Then you cover it. Then you get it in the oven. For me, 375 is fine to start out with. Take a peek. Don't just stick it in there and see about everything else. And then it's boiling away because you can be sure you're it will boil. When it's in there, as soon as you're happy with the temperature, bring it down. I would keep it at 350 finally. You understand what I'm saying to you? Low, lazy, slow bubble all across the surface is a proper simmer. But you don't just put it in there. You make sure it's 
it's going at a little bit of